In today's exploration of cybersecurity tech news, the war in Ukraine has caused over 250 companies to leave Russia. Apple, Intel, Nvidia have all made their exit. But could Russia's access to the internet itself be the next technological casualty of Putin's invasion? And would Russia being banned from the internet even be a good thing? The answer isn't quite what you might think. Effectively banning Russia from the internet is exactly what Ukraine wants. A few days ago, their vice prime minister published an open letter to ICANN ICANN is the group responsible for assigning IP addresses and managing the domain name system. ICANN is a pretty important organization when it comes to maintaining the internet. If you wanted to kick an entire country off from the web, these are the first guys you'd ask. Ukraine had multiple demands of them. 1. Revoke Russian domain names like .ru 2. Revoke SSL certificates. These are used to protect and validate internet traffic. And 3. Shut down DNS root servers based in Russia. These things are like massive address books, which essentially map domain names to IP addresses. And as you can imagine, if these requests were actually granted, it would potentially be Armageddon for Russia's internet. Russian websites would effectively stop working, which is exactly what Ukraine understandably wants. But it's not quite that simple. ICANN published an open letter of their own, essentially saying, I cannot do this. Firstly, some of Ukraine's demands just don't take into account the way the internet works. ICANN has nothing to do with issuing Russian SSL certificates, and those DNS root servers are run by independent organizations. But it's more interesting to consider what ICANN could do. They could theoretically mess with those Russian domains, .ru and things like that. However, that would come with a whole host of its own problems. You see, ICANN, the guys who manage IP address allocation and DNS for the whole internet, is only really able to exist because it's politically neutral. If they start sanctioning countries, cutting them off from the web, then it could cause the whole internet to divide into what's called a splinternet. In other words, different countries might cynically develop their own isolated versions of the internet, which would of course kind of ruin the point of an internet. It would essentially be the end of the web as we know it. But maybe there is a way to boot Russia off the interwebs without the help of ICANN. If ICANN is like the internet's metaphorical address book, then maybe you can instead target the roads that lead to those addresses. And one company has done just that. Cogent Communications, a company you've probably never even heard of, has in the last day or two pulled the plug on their Russian customers. This company is like an internet service provider for internet service providers. As in, you don't pay them a monthly fee, but your ISP pays Cogent Communications for access to their vast network of 100,000 miles of underground and undersea cables. In fact, 25% of all internet traffic runs through cables owned by this company. So for these guys to be cutting Russia's access, it's a big deal. One of Cogent's biggest customers is, or should I say was, Russia's largest telecoms provider, Ross Telecom which is now going to have to make alternative arrangements. But make no mistake, this isn't going to cut Russia off from the internet completely. However, it will reduce the total bandwidth available to Russians, which could lead to slower internet speeds. And if more internet backbone companies follow Cogent's lead, then Russia will become increasingly isolated from the internet. But even if it was possible to completely banish Russia from the internet, would it even be a good idea to punish Russia with that? IMO, it'd be a terribly awful, dangerously bad idea, and would probably just play into the hands of Putin. Why? Well, cutting off internet access to a population only makes it easier for a government to control the flow of information. In fact, simply turning off the internet is a tool commonly used by authoritarian regimes in times of unrest because it makes it harder for ordinary people to voice their dissent of the government. For example, during the protests in Kazakhstan earlier this year, the regime blocked internet access until the protests were over. The same tactic was used last year following a military coup in Myanmar, and there's dozens of other examples. Is it a coincidence that the most oppressed populace on the planet happens to be the one with de facto no internet access? And even if Russia was somehow disconnected from the rest of the world, some kind of internet would still exist in Russia. It's called Runet, and it's been built by the Russian government over the last few years. Runet would enable an intranet within Russia, but limited to only Russian websites, effectively preventing ordinary Russians from accessing any website not approved by Russia's regime. So preventing Russians from accessing the web would create an echo chamber for over 140 million people where only Putin-approved voices are allowed to speak. In other words, a bad idea. 
Also, I don't think pulling the plug on Russia would even achieve the intended aims. Cogent Communications explains they've left Russia because they don't want their network to be used for outbound cyber attacks or disinformation, which is understandable. A lot of cyber attacks do come from Russia and disinformation is a problem. But armed with the resources of a nation state, it wouldn't be difficult for Russia to carry out cyber attacks from a foreign country. So carving Russia out from the internet would only really affect ordinary people. However, it's unlikely Russia will be banned or cut off in some way from the wider internet. By its very nature, the internet is decentralized, so no one person or company can just shut the door to an entire country. However, watch this space. Unlikely things do happen, as we've learned over the last couple of years. Now, this is a topic I really want to hear your guys' opinion on. Do you agree with me that punishing Russia by cutting them off from the internet would be a bad idea? Or do you think they deserve more isolation for what they've done to Ukraine? Let's get a discussion going in the comments. This video was made possible by PlexTrack, the cybersecurity reporting and workflow management platform that empowers continuous assessment and effective collaboration between teams to ensure you win the right security battles. Create assessment reports in half the time and collaborate throughout the remediation lifecycle. Centralize your remediation efforts across all scans, assessments, and audits with powerful risk visualizations, scanner and ticketing integrations, and enhanced analytics. Communicate risks clearly across your team and in real time, working more efficiently and effectively with PlexTrack. You can claim your free month of the PlexTrack platform exclusively for Satonic viewers using the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and you know the drill. If you liked this video, make sure to tickle the notification bell and follow me on the Instagrams for behind the scenes content. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.